Hello everyone, this is Mike Padua and uh, we are giving you now the very latest of our tropical weather analysis for today, Tuesday until Friday, October 28th to 31st, 2025, last few days of October as we move into November. This is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. We would like to also thank our partners, our boy Tease Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainability. If you're interested to know more about the sustainability program of BPI, just click on the link here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, click on the description down below this video. And also the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Lenny Robredo and our Honorable Vice Mayor Gabi Bordado. So everybody's uh, panicking. Just relax. There's nothing to be afraid of. Because uh, for the uh, past few days, the forecast models of more than 5 days, take note, more than 5 days remains uh, active because of this uh, potential storm moving into the Philippines, especially the reliable ones. But uh, take note, these are forecast of more than 5 days. So the uncertainty remains high. We still don't know what will be the intensity. Changes are going to occur every 6 to 12 hours so take note if the system develops right now there's nothing over the pacific just a couple of tropical waves marching across the micronesian islands and we are here to monitor that no, there's no need to be alarmed and avoid watching those alarmists over the, uh, the social media there's so many right now i remember the time during uh 10, 10 years ago when we have this uh, recycled the cnn video of uh Super Typhoon Ruby that happened in 2014, but now it's gone. So just uh, don't mind it and wait for Pagasa, JMA, or Joint Typhoon Warning Center to issue official updates. Okay, I'm here helping the government, okay, Pagasa and other agencies to uh, broadcast it in a layman a layman terms so that people will be prepared. So right now, there's no need to be uh, alarmed. Okay, so we are here to give you the very latest for the next five days but we are going to show you what will happen for the next uh, uh, six to ten days but we will wait and see first okay so right now it's still uh, uncertain and for the latest graph set we created last night here's the uh, pattern right now we have the first glimpse of the northeast monsoon affecting extreme northern Luzon, Batanes, northern Cagayan so there are some occasional rain showers uh, typical uh, late uh, weather conditions during uh, uh, October, end of October to November. We have it building high pressure areas here over uh, eastern and southern China. There's a weak LPA here. The ones uh, over here has dissipated and it's now concentrating over this area. A very weak LPA near the coast of uh, Vietnam or southern Vietnam. Quasi stationary and is expected to move overland. So this is no longer a threat. There are some showers and thunderstorms expected still over the Kalayan Island group. And we have uh, the uh, east release. This is the afternoon shot around 4 p.m. So right now, if we are going to show to you the latest satellite, it's uh, uh, absolutely clear right now here. We have a uh, three-week uh, tropical waves here, which is not uh, yet expected to develop. There's one here. Maybe this is the one, but uh, it's not yet uh, organizing. Okay, and uh, we have here a frontal system over the North Philippine Sea moving away. Here's the uh, fast animation uh, around 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. this afternoon. Here's the uh, low pressure center or low pressure system, a shallow one moving across the coastal areas of southern Vietnam. And here's a frontal system moving away. Northeast monsoon here and east release across uh, Bicol. Visayas and Mindanao. There are some showers here over Visayas and Eastern Mindanao during the afternoon or evening. So this is an area of uh, developing uh, tropical waves. We have a weak one here and there's another one here. So there's still uh, um, no clues on where it will form but uh, most of the computer models are developing it sometime All Saints Day, November 1 or 2. And from that time, once it develops, we will be giving you more uh, increasing uh, probability. Okay. 
But right now, no need to be alarmed. Just uh, prepare during November. It's common that we have tropical cyclones until December. The most important thing, we are always uh, prepared when it comes to this uh, last quarter of the year. Here's the latest zoom in solar animation from Windy, Yumitsat, and good weather right now across Bicol region with uh, smaller chances of thunderstorms, but there might still some. Uh, that may form in the afternoon or evening and also over the western sections of Visayas we have here over eastern Mindanao so don't forget to bring your umbrellas and rain gear here's the joint typhoon warning center so nothing to worry no suspect area so far across the western pacific uh, the much uh, newsmaker right now is Hurricane Melissa which is now the strongest on the planet for 2025 here is Melissa. After uh, stalling or drifting very slowly westward, it has begun to march towards the northeast and slightly to endanger Jamaica with winds of 280 kph. That's category 5. So, Fox over there, Jamaica. I'm just giving you the uh, what will be the effects. This is a catastrophic, devastating system. So, let's all pray that they will be they will survive this uh, threat, but. Uh, it's very sad to see uh, a small nation being affected by one of the strongest this year. Okay, so uh, since it's moving slowly, it's going to take about an, a day of uh, hurricane uh, destructive winds. So prayers goes to the people down there. Okay, so you can see also lots of uh, hurricane hurricane penetration of Melissa eye penetration uh, by the uh, hurricane hunters uh, the uh, different pictures of uh, uh, the eye but uh, we are more focused on the Pacific you can just uh, search the uh, internet the YouTube Facebook for more videos about, about Melissa now back to our basin so this is the uh, five-day rain forecast accumulation 24 hours so far for the next five days we uh, expect uh, localized uh, thunderstorms to uh, prevail all uh, throughout the country in an isolated manner so don't forget to bring umbrellas and rain gear when you visit your loved ones in every cemetery across the country so you can see here there are some thunderstorms moving across Visayas, Palawan, Mimaropa, Eastern uh, Luzon those blue ones, light blue, are uh, uh, rain of uh, less than 25 millimeters so expect to bring your umbrella so this is throughout the country so until uh, mm, November 2 okay so this is uh, the one that we are going to uh, focus our attention after All Saints Day but right now we will not uh, give you the updates about that since it's highly uncertain let's move now to our uh, wind and pressure forecast from the American model first since that model is um, uh, forecasting it to be a minimal uh, typhoon or a severe tropical storm which is the other way around the uh, European model is somewhat stronger but let's hope uh, everything changes now here's the forecast for the next five days so far uh, there's nothing to show to you here again focus now on that uh, uh, potential storm Let's move into six days, which is highly uncertain. So one, two, three, four, five, seven. November three. So it's uh, entered par and it's moving towards uh, possible landfall over uh, somewhere between eastern summer and later, northern later, on November four or five. That's the forecast of the American model. It's been fluctuating ever since, so nothing to worry. This is just uh, the forecast for the next uh, seven to eight days from now. And then afterwards, there's another one here, but it's uh, moving away. And uh, it will just uh, move over the Philippine Sea, but that's highly uncertain. So that's a forecast of the uh, American model. If we switch our attention on the European model, the uh, high density forecast, the HD, high definition I mean shows here that uh, November 3 it will form 
and uh, November 4 early morning it will enter Paris tropical storm and it will intensify into a typhoon approaching uh, uh, eastern summer and later so same track as uh, with the American model then November uh, uh, 6 Thursday it will make landfall similar to the track of Yolanda so Yolanda anniversary is November 8 so it's quite common that we have this kind of system during November but again here's another system the uh, atmospheric pressure of the European model is somewhat uh, risen up okay it's only 961 so it may be a category 2 or 3 then on the uh, evening of uh, Thursday of uh, Maspate it's still highly uncertain okay so uh, changes will occur then pass over Mindoro move out into the West Philippine Sea and that's it there's nothing following uh, based on the uh, European model so that's the forecast so if we round this up six days to ten days forecast if this is the uh, European model it shows that it will pass here like that and the American model is somewhat here like that so they have same trajectory all eyes here over eastern Visayas as of this time but again uh, the possibility remains uh, uncertain we still don't know since it's more than five days so take note that we are only going to focus if the system is uh, newly formed and if we it's below uh, uh, five days to go okay so that's the forecast from the uh, American and European model and if we take a look at the uh, forecast of the uh, European model ensemble most of them are showing a possibility somewhere over uh, maybe here the Bicol region or northern northeastern Mindanao and the Visayas area most of them are showing uh, Visayas so let's wait and see what will be the outcome of this uh, of that system to uh, take a look at the uh, uh, model from Google this is the Google DeepMind so this is their forecast and then it shows here that most of the ensemble are showing uh, a landfall of Leyte okay more on the south southern Leyte and northern Cebu that will be on November 4 or 5 and the intensity is uh, is still uh, ranging from a uh, tropical storm as you can see here this is the mean average of the forecast shows here that uh, up to a severe tropical storm but there are some ensemble of this Google DeepMind that shows up to 140 knots but uh, based on the ensemble mean it's only around the uh, severe tropical storm status so that will be in the evening of November 4 or early morning on November 5 so the track here is uh, somewhere there in Leyte or Samar or even if you look at the cone of uncertainty okay it shows that even uh, Kariga and Eastern Dabao must monitor this system and also here over Southern Bicol so it's either over that area so we will let you know as the days uh, goes nearer we will uh, give be giving you more precise uh, forecast of this system but right now it's more than five days so it's highly uncertain so that's what we are seeing right now okay so uh, we'll wait and see use the uh, wave forecast so far the uh, central waters of our country will be uh, less than five uh, less than uh, 0 0.5 meters to calm conditions while here over the uh, northern part of the west philippine sea south china sea area taiwan patanes will have wave heights of up to three to four meters because of the northeast monsoon and so far for the next five days until uh, november 2 everything is okay okay up to uh, one or two meters here over the east philippine sea 
up to 1 meter over the central waters of a country and uh, over the West Philippine Sea up to a meter in wave heights. The ones larger is over the uh, coastal waters of northern Cagayan and extreme northern Luzon up to 3 meters due to the northeast monsoon. That will be the forecast of the waves today until November 2. Okay. Now let's take a look at the modern Chilean oscillation. This is the latest from the GFS model. Right now we are on the wet face. The Philippines is uh, located here. Okay. So we are having some higher amounts of localized thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening, especially in the coming days. But take note uh, for the next uh, 20 days, the uh, modern uh, oscillation wet face will move more to the circle, meaning that the uh, wet face will be a little weaker than forecasted. And here's the uh, map of the Philippines. You can see this is the wet face, October 26. And this is up to November 10. And it looks like we are still on the wet face. But let's hope that this will not spawn very large uh, systems. But so far, that's the uh, situation right now. Okay. Using the uh, European model MJO, it's currently right now, it's here, okay, and then for the next uh, 5 to 20 days, the uh, mean of the uh, wet phase of the modern during oscillation will start to move closer to the circle, uh, showing a more weaker MJO wet phase, and it will move towards the western pacific and uh, also if we look at the uh, australia view of meteorology uh, forecast it's currently here so our country is located here the philippines is here so we are on a slight wet face and it will move farther to the circle showing a weaker mjo signal and it will be just there over the western pacific until the middle or third week of november so uh, we're praying that there will be no more uh, cyclone after this uh, projected one during the first uh, few days of November. Okay, so uh, guys, just relax. And uh, if you have uh, some disaster plans, just uh, put it on standby. Right now, we still don't know where it will go or when the system will develop. We are still waiting as the forecast draws nearer to within five days so right now it's still uh, above the five day mark so we will keep you updated by friday we'll be uh, returning for another update here at typhoon 2000 uh, youtube uh, channel of uh, yours truly mr typhoon and also at our facebook channel channel mike mr typhoon padua have a great week ahead you have a uh, all uh, peaceful all saints day and uh stay safe always be hashtag typhoon wiser and thank you so much for watching our channel god bless to all